everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome and if you're not new here welcome back so um today i've actually decided to make haunted history into officially into my podcast uh so yeah this is going to be a new uh form of adventure for all of us really and <laughs> We are going to be doing some like deep dives um, into haunted histories, into haunted places, and yeah, so welcome to episode two, which is actually about Chateau Miranda in Belgium, Germany. So Chateau Miranda is, um, it's located in Namur, Belgium, Germany. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. Um... But yeah, so it was actually built, so it's a castle. <laughs> it's neo-gothic uh, marvel with 100 rooms, ornate ceilings, grand staircases, candelabras, candelabras, I think, um, and a 150-foot clock tower, which it was also built um, over more than 30 years. And it actually started being built in 1866 for this wealthy family who actually um, lost their home during the French Revolution. But, um, yeah, it also, like, welcomed a lot of aristocrats. <laughs> they had the, the plush rooms for them. And then they would, like, go to the Victorian gardens. Um, and, it, and it was just like that for generations. But, so, there was, of course, a war in World War II, which, um, you know, the Nazis invaded, actually started to invade the Chateau Miranda, unfortunately, and they occupied the castle, and then they started using it as a form of barracks. Um, but, um, after the war, the Belgian government, actually turned it into an orphanage and a vacation camp for uh, around 200 kids, more or less. <laughs> but they then started calling it the Chateau de Noisy, which <laughs> that's pretty cute. Um, so after all that dark stuff, like the history with World War II and the Nazis taking over it, um, you know, it, it was actually turned into something pretty positive. Um, but early 1990s, um, unfortunately, the orphanage and the camp were both shut down. And the castle actually ended up um, being abandoned. And it, you know, had vandals. And, of course, it started, like, um, breaking down. And just started to turn into a, a form of ruins. And, um... So, yeah, the, um, it's like ghost hunters were there, um, explorers went there, but it, um, ended up being, I don't know, very, like, it wasn't as lively as it used to be, and that's unfortunate. Um, if I did live closer, I would love to go there. Um, I'll actually insert some pictures. Um. But yeah, I, it, this is when it starts to get um, a little darker after such positivity. It's like a, a wave. It would have, like, positive vibe, and then negative vibe, and then positive, and then that got shut down, and then started rotting. And But um, it was actually used later. Um, for the uh, castle lector and the TV show Hannibal. Um, so it was starting to become used a little bit. Um, but it, um, it does say that there are, you know, dolls still there that were left by, you know, the orphans um, and everything. But the prever preservationists, they were actually looking into restoring the castle. And, like, local officials were looking to take over the grounds, but um, the rich count um, 
who actually, like, he and, there in the family owned it, um, they owned the entire property. So here is a quote um, from Le Fargeau. Um, this quote, people are saying that the Count wants his descendants to finally have some peace. Clearly, the affluence provoked by the majesty of the site just didn't do it for him, unquote. But, I mean, I feel like it could be used for a lot of things, like a hotel or, um, I mean, it could have stayed as an orphanage and a camp. I mean, clearly it was doing very well. Um, but yeah, so, um, it actually, um, so the, like, family, like, applied for a permit to tear it down and then, and demolish it. Um, but by October 2017, the Chateau Miranda was, um, no more. Um, but there is a piece of history that I do want to uh, read. Um, I'm turning on my lamp. So, this is actually from the company Serenity Drums. They are located in the UK. Um, they actually uh, bought the oak flooring from Chateau Miranda for its custom instruments. So here's what they said from their Facebook page. And if I can find their Facebook page, I'll link it down below. Um, but it says, quote, if wood could talk, this drum <laughs> would have the most amazing story to tell. Just thinking of the vast variety of lives um, lived and decisions made on this very flooring gives such a sense of historical awe, unquote. And I think that's so sweet. Um, but, you know, um, there wasn't, I, I couldn't find too much, like, history behind um, Chateau Miranda, um, except for these little things. So this, this history isn't going to be too much. It's not going to be too long, um, and I am sorry for that. But um, I'm going to insert pictures, and you guys will see how gorgeous it is. And there, there could be so much usage for a lot of these castles that are actually abandoned and left behind to... I forgot the wording, but um, just left behind to just fall and turn into ruins and... People want to tear them down and build something else or something, but I get it, I guess. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I guess, I guess that is it. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm disappointed. I can't find much on this castle. Um, that's why I'm just being so hesitant because it's like, I don't know. I mean, I could come back with a part two if I find more. Um, and then I come back with a part two on, like, the haunted findings there from travelers that have gone there and investigated themselves. So, um, I guess until then, um, I guess that's it for this, um, episode, episode two today. And today is currently October 3rd. I will either film a little bit more today or just film some more tomorrow or uh, whichever, but, yeah, so, I hope you guys enjoy this episode, um, and I will see you guys next time, all right, bye guys.